Good evening, my dear friends. This evening I'm in my studio and I'm going to do another little, or try to do another little painting uh, quickly, or well, maybe not too quickly. Um, but uh, I've been told about something called ASMR and that is something that's a feeling of well-being in response to um, specific gentle stimuli and it's often a particular sound or or whispering voices or paper tearing things like that and um, It's, it gives you, it's supposed to give you a nice, as I say, a nice feeling. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. I know that um, uh, ASMR is, uh, stands for, oh, what does it stand for? <laughs> Autonomous sensory meridian response uh, meridian is to do with um, nerve centers I believe I haven't really looked it up I'm going to do a painting of an old man in his garden looking after his onion patch well that's what I'm going to try and do see how I get on. I call him an old man, but he's um, about the same age as me, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making him up. Uh, he's a stalwart of the local gardening club. What do you call him in a village there? Garden Association. You know, they're the ones who have the uh, the marquee in the uh, on the village green in the summer. He's got to be stooping over a bit because he's he's hoeing a bit. He's hoeing in his um, onion patch. So, he's got a bit of a stooped, well he's stooped over but he's got a bit of a stooped back, hunchy back, as we tend to get as we get older. Oh, I suppose I've got to try and whisper this. <laughs> this might not work, but I'm going to put it, put the, the letters A-S MR in the title of this of this video see what happens see if it gets me any more views probably not let's do a little bit of flesh color here oh hang on I got a little bit of yellow ochre he's an outdoor sort of bloke so he'll be quite quite tanned I would think even in this horrible British climate should I call it horrible it's not really horrible is it it's just our British climate just the way things are so he's stooped over like that and uh, he's got his shirt sleeve rolled up because he means business. He's not messing about. He's going to get these onion hoes hoed. Mm. 
that's his other arm there. Um, I suppose this clinking in the uh, jar of white spirit when I clean the brush is kind of a sensory sound, isn't it? He's in, I think, I don't think he's on the allotment. He might be, yeah, he'd be on the allotment, I think, rather than in his own garden. So I'll put a, um, hang on, it's quite sunny. I'm thinking it might be a sunny day. He better have a hat on. Because we don't want him getting, getting heat stroke. Colour hat should he have? I don't know, just whatever happens. Mia's in with me tonight and I've got the fire on in the studio. Um, I've lit the fire, I mean, not got the fire on. Well, I suppose it's, I suppose it's still on. I lit it with a match. No, I didn't, I lit it with a lighter. There's his hat. Uh, he's on. He's on an allotment, so there's a big, there's a hedge around the allotment and a fence. Um, I mean, it's some green. A bit of cadmium yellow, a bit of cerulean blue. Oh, that's quite a nice green. Uh, that's, oh, um, let's, this is bottom of the, this is the ground, ground level. It's quite green because he's, he's got other things growing there, obviously, but he's, his main thing that he loves is his on onion patch. Uh, put a little bit of... Should we put... No, we better not put the fence in yet. We better put the fence in front of the... front of the hedge. So I'll change the colour a little bit darker. Um, where's the sun going to come from? Well, the, the sun's coming that way. Uh, that way, yes. Uh, there's a hedge, there's a hedge. Oops, sorry, mate, getting a bit in your face there, aren't I? Uh, comes under a bit, you can see a bit of these. There. A bit there. Oh, I'll do it right down to the... I'll do it down to the garden level. And then I can put that, put that fence in. I'm sticking with the, the one brush method that I used the other day. Just this brush. It's a uh, pro art. Sterling 201 or oil or acrylic short flat England 506 whatever that means. I like these brushes. All right, so I'm going to put a oh no, I'm going to make it a bit darker because I I need dark under there because there's, you know, it's dark. It's a, it's a hedgerow sort of thing, so it's a bit dark in there. So, do that like that. Yeah, a bit dark there. Which is rather going to hide my fence I was intending to put in. 
Oh, it's going to be difficult with the same brush. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Then I will. We'll put a little fence. Might be a bit early for the fence, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's, you know, it's all trial and error painting. It's all correcting one's mistakes as you go along. Let's put, uh, what time of year is it? It's, it's, a, it's late spring. Let's have late spring, so we'll... Uh, is it late spring? Yes. Is it late spring? When do onions grow? No, it's not. It's autumn. I mean, he's hoeing the onions, so they must be quite a good size. So it'll be late summer. That's what it is. Let's put a tree up here. Uh, Oh, he's behind. He's in front of that tree. I wonder what his name is. What should we call him? We won't call him by his, his uh, Christian name because he's, he's a village stalwart and he's well respected in the village and he gets called Mr. Except for by except by his very close friends. And let's call him Mr. Mr. Blenkinsop. I don't know where that name has come from, but Blenkinsop, that's a lovely name, isn't it? We'll call him Mr. Blenkinsop and uh, see how he gets on with that name. A bit darker under that tree there. Oh, we've got to make the tree have some dark places in it, haven't we? I wish I, I wish it wasn't late summer because it means the means of blossom's gone and I would have liked to have had some blossom. In fact, what's happening to this tree is it's very late summer and some of the leaves are actually turning a bit yellow. That'll brighten it up a bit, won't it? Uh, Behind the allotment is a, there's a house. It's a, it's a cream coloured house. It's, it's been, it looks cream coloured because it's been rendered. Originally it was brick, but now it's a cream. Uh, been painted cream on the render. More of a, <laughs> changing it as I go, more of a, a nice sort of, well, very light orangey yellow, isn't it really? It's quite a nice house, although it backs onto the allotment and uh, that keeps it quite quiet because they're quite um, a peaceful lot, the allotment holders. And uh, it's quite a big house but the person who lives in it loves loves it for so much. And one of the reasons, let's call it a she, the one of the reasons the lady owner likes it so much is because it's uh, next to the allotment and she loves looking out of the window and seeing the people tending to their allotment patches. She knows Mr Blenkinsop. She's a... Right, they're both on the local council, actually. He's still quite active um, in lots of village things, even though he's approaching 80 years old. But um, you can't get the young people to do it these days. They don't seem to have the same feeling about the village. How's it looking? I can't sit. Yes, the young people, I mean, you know, they try to encourage young people to join. Like, like the parish council is um, 
very important to the older people of the village, but it's not so important to the younger people, although as they get older it will become more so, as they get older and grumpier. <laughs> I do. I I think I'm a bit grumpier now than I used to be. I don't know. It's because I I don't often don't feel really one hundred percent, and that makes you feel a bit under the weather, doesn't it? I think what I'd better do is um, put a roof on this house. It's uh, it's a tiled roof, so. That'll do, that colour I've just mixed up, a bit of cadmium red, light, light hue and cadmium yellow. There we go. Mind your head, Mr Blenkinsop. So, that's the corner of the house that goes around there, so... Mm, I don't know how to do this, I'll do it like this for now. We're doing like, it's got a very nice big loft, attic. Why don't I call it a loft? When did we start calling attics lofts? And that bit comes down there like that as well. Ah, oh, there you go. How are you feeling? Is the ASMR doing anything? Is it working? Am I, am I being successful? Put a bit of dark under a bit dark shadow under the eaves there. Um, a little bit just there. I reckon I have to put a chimney on it, shouldn't I? Uh, the chimney would be oh just there. Let's put it there. I don't know if it makes architectural sense at all, but we'll give it a nice chimney. And it's got a layer of capping, capping tiles, I think they're called. <laughs> Mia couldn't get up on her chair tonight. I had to lift her, well, she got her front legs up. I had to lift her, the back legs up, poor old thing. We're none of us getting any younger. The sky, I think I made the sky blue. Sky blue, it's always a nice thing, isn't it? A lovely blue sky. Cerulean blue, put a bit of white in it there. Nice blue sky. That'll fill up quite a bit of the painted. Oh, I'll sort of blend in with his hat. Perhaps I'd better make his hat a little bit, a little bit darker or lighter. What colour do you like your hat, Mr Blenkinsop? I don't think I've ever met anyone named of Blenkinsop. It's a northern name, isn't it, mainly? Colour's changed a bit. Whoops. Yeah, nearly got a bit of yellow in it then. Whoops, that's... Oh well, it's a late summer sky. It's a bit dark in places. And I suppose the sound of this brush the sound of the brush on the canvas is kind of a sensory sound, isn't it? When I upload this and I put ASMR, is it ASM? Yeah, ASMR in the title, I'll get thousands of views. I'll probably get several hundred thousand new subscribers. 
I do kid myself on. Yeah, so... Anyway, I can't remember who it was who suggested it to me, but thank you very much for the idea, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, that sky's a little bit... A little bit... Oh, it's, it's a winter sky, let's face it. It's, it's late, late summer sky, coming on to winter. Autumn, coming on to autumn. I do get confused a little bit sometimes. In fact, it looks quite a stormy sky now. It's, uh, well, Mr. Blenkinsop knows that the weather is, uh, is due for a change. So he's hurrying to get his onions hoed. I think I'd better um, get some of those onions into the ground. Uh, how to do the ground. You can see because he, he's hoed quite a lot, so the ground is kind of brown in places, earth coloured. Like that. I've suddenly become aware of the time that, you know, I'm supposed to be doing this quite quickly. I don't know why I'm doing it quite quickly, to be honest, but I think. I think uh, perhaps in my mind that my viewers don't like long videos too much. Well, don't think anyone seems to these days, do they? I know when I look at a, a YouTube channel and I see that the subject matter is going to be over an hour, I tend to not watch it, I must say. 15, 20, 30 minutes is about right. It's about the, 30 minutes is about the length of the old television programmes, wasn't it? I mean, I never watched them anymore. I never watched telly. I don't know what the news is, because I, I I don't watch the news. And all I, my only news is in little bits and pieces on what someone said on YouTube. I don't miss not knowing what the news is, although it's sometimes a bit embarrassing if, if I was to be in conversation with someone and they said, oh, there's been a nuclear explosion somewhere and 20 million people have died and I hadn't heard anything about it. That would be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? I've just given a bit of texture to the ground. Now then, should I finish Mr. Blenkin's sop painting him and then then I can paint some onions, some stems of onions afterwards, after, after I've given Mr. Blenkin's sop a nice shirt. I like doing these little paintings. I didn't realise I liked doing them until just a little while ago. Little paintings and a little while ago. Right. What colour hat have you got, Mr Blanket? It's a sort of grey, isn't it? I suppose that's good enough, isn't it? But I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. You notice that old people tend to not have bright clothing. We tend to go for beige. Oh my goodness me, beige and browns and, and greys. I'm just as guilty. I'm wearing grey trousers, grey suit jacket. Oh, I've got a nice blue shirt on. My shirt, don't worry, is about the same colour as that, actually. Uh, oh, so Mr. Blankensop's got his hat on. I want him coming down a bit like that. I'm going to ruin it now. 
There you go, Mr. Blenkinsop. Oh, I've just ruined your hat, sir. Sorry about that. Yeah, he's um, he's on the local council, Mr. Blenkinsop. Alongside the lady who lives in the house there, her name is... Uh, oh, dear. I can't remember what her name is. I've never known it. Let's try and think of a name for her. Oh. Her name's Mrs. Sadler. Yes, she's a, a local lady. Been here all her life. Although she did um, leave. She's very, very elderly, you know, and it's amazing that she's still on the actual council. But she did leave during the war. She was a nurse in the, in the Second World War in the Queen Alexandra's nursing corps. Um, and she was in some uh, action battle battle zone, so she's she's well travelled as well. She became after that. Uh, oh, I've forgotten her name already. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Sadler was it? I said, yes. She became uh, an air hostess. She was an air hostess on on the BOAC airline. And, um, yes, yeah, she was quite a glamorous lady. Well, she was very glamorous, actually. And she still likes to keep up appearances. She just still still has an elegance about her. I might paint her. <laughs> I might paint her next. What did you say? What did Mr. Mr. Blenkinsop do? Oh, he was just sort of the earth kind of guy. He was a... Uh, Uh, a machinist, machine, uh, he used to make metal parts for, for aircraft and things. Uh, not in the war because he's a little bit younger. He was born um, while the war was on, but he didn't, of course, he doesn't remember much about it. But yes, he's a very skillful man at his trade. shadow there. Very difficult with this brush, I don't really know. I'm just trying to make him look a little bit... I have got him rather stooped, haven't I? That arm's far too wide. I think I better... a bit more... a bit more tree. bit more of that tree if I put that coming down there like that like that and in there Yeah, he was uh, uh, worked in the machine shop. He stayed in the same job, forty-five years. Of course, they used to in those days. Most people nowadays are on short-term contracts. It's wrong, you know. People should. I think people should have the the security of knowing that they're going to be in their job for long enough to at least pay off most of their mortgage, if not all of it, but it doesn't seem to be the way that things are these days, unfortunately. We might go back to those times. All the modern houses they're building, of course, are um, seem to be for rent. People, young people just can't afford to buy. They just, you know, the month, the, the wages, the wages just aren't there. It's rather a shame. It seems that this next generation coming up is going to be poorer than their parents. 
doesn't seem right, does it? You can have a look there, a little bit darker. A little bit darker, that's, that's it, back leg coming down. And so the, the light's coming that way. Mr. Blenkinsop used to be very, very good at cricket. Mm. A very good slow spin bowler. He used to um, go every year, take a trip to London to watch the cricket, a cricket match at, at the Oval, mainly. Or Lords, I'm not, not sure which one he went to. But. Um, Yes, very, very loved cricket very much. And as, as I say, was a very good slow spin bowler in his own right. Never got professional, but he played in the amateur ranks. He didn't, he didn't want to be professional, to be honest. I'm not sure if he was good enough to be actually. Well, I mean, he was probably good enough, but, you know, sometimes it's... Not what you know, it's who you know in sport, you know. Now I've got to put some... Right, eight summer, what would be in flower? I want something behind his... I don't know, maybe, oh, maybe there's a few weeds growing in the back there. Who's there? Oh, there could be... Flowers of something. Oh, the other allotment holder in the next allotment I like to grow a few flowers. That's what that is. And, uh, get some. Get this greeny. Oh, a bit of white, I think, in there. And like that. Yes, that's good. I come down like that. Mind your arm, please, Mr. Blinkinsop. Thank you. Thank you, sir. He likes writing poems, believe it or not, Mr. Blinkinsop. He writes, he writes about people he's met. Makes little poems up about them. He's been published in the uh, in the Village magazine a couple of times in some of his poems, but. He's no, he's no um, Wordsworth or anything. Wordsworth, Byron, Browning. He's he's not of that. That caliber. Tennyson. But you know, he just likes to. He loves the English language. And he just likes to. Play about with words. I can't quite get this, uh... that's better. Trying to get a bit, that's better. There you go, there you go, Mr. Blinkins. Oh, there's some of you, oops. That one's gone to seed a bit. And I feel Mr. Blankensop needs to have a bit more of a face, but uh, I'm going to struggle to do, get anything in this. Let's try and make him a little darker under there. Oh, I'll come that way, Mr. Blankensop. He's clean shaven. He's never, never ever liked the idea of a beard. To be honest, he thinks People, men who have beards are lazy, don't they? they just don't want to shave. <laughs> there could be something in that. Mr. Blenkinsop. Mr. Blenkinsop's hat. 
has gone a bit too long in the top. Let's bring the sky down a bit there. His hat is blended into the sky a bit. I don't really want that to happen. I'll make his hat lighter. He's got a light blue summer hat on now. Homburg style, or is it, or Trilby style? Well, actually it's, it's such an old hat, it's lost all its shape. Oh, and I've lost its shape just doing that as well. Why didn't I just leave well alone? I'll put a bit of, try and get a bit of shape back to it by putting a bit more yellow on that house there. There you go. And I'll get the blue sky. Blue sky to get the shape of the hat back. That's better. That's better, Mr. Blankenstop. I'm very sorry about that, sir. I put a window in that house, a dark window. You can't see. You can't see, but Mrs. Sadler is actually. She's actually looking out of that window right now. She's not hiding herself. She just does it quite openly. She just the doors watching the people in the garden. You know, she can't get out like she used to. It gives her something to do. Look, you can just see her, look, just a touch. There she is. Let's just give Mrs. Sadler, there she is. <laughs> she's, got a very, she's got a very big head. Sorry, Mrs. Sadler, let's get you. Oh, we'll just change it like that. There you are. We know there's someone there. We, we just think it's Mrs. Sadler. I think I'll change the colour of that roof a little bit there. Put a bit of red there with that brown there. That bit of there because that would be more in the shade, in the, yes, in the shadow. Mm. It's, a, it's a three bed house. No, it's a four bed. She's a, She's uh, in uh, one of the higher bands in the council tax bracket, unfortunately. Um, right, anyway, what I'll do is now, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stop. Because I don't know how long I've been going, I should have timed myself. Uh, I'd rather, really would rather, give Mr. Blinkensop's shirt a little bit of work because it's uh, standing out far too much to my, my, I bet it needs a bit more grey in it, I think. A bit of bluey grey. Let's try that. And underneath. Underneath his arm there, it's in shadow, a shadow there, the back of that arm will be in shadow. Uh, shadow here. Uh, we'll go like that, you know, a few creases, a little bit of creasing where he's bent over. He's not married, he does his own ironing. He was married. Unfortunately, Mrs. Blenkinsop has been gone for some years. Uh, I'll give his shirt collar a bit, a bit of more white down there, a bit of white there. He's got his sleeve rolled up. And that one. 
but you can't see this because he's moving you know he's actually moving about a bit so I'm just going to and a little bit coming down like that uh, so I'm just catching him there Well, there's not much light on his face, but try and want to bring his face a little bit. Oh no, that's no good. That's no good, John. John, my name's not George, that's my son's name. I'm calling myself by my son's name. There, there you are, Mr Blenkinsop. You're sort of looking towards me now, aren't you? Let's um, see if I can give you a little bit of a a shape to your nose. Oh, that'll do, Mr. Blenkinsop. I'm going to leave it there now, folks. Um, I will work some more on it because because uh, I'm enjoying it, but I don't want to be an overlong video. So, thank you very much for looking in. I hope you've enjoyed this and the ASMR part of it has worked. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Bye.